Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at Call of Duty Ghosts. Now this is a game from 2014 and uh, yeah, I mean, I do believe there's no introduction required for this particular title. As usual, we're gonna max this game out and see how it goes and I don't expect any issues with it. Considering that the minimum requirement for this game is a GTX 450 and the recommended uh, GPU is a GTX 760 with 4 gigs of video memory. So I do believe a 4070 I should have no issues running this game, 4K, everything cranked out. So, as you can see, we're going with everything uh, as much as we possibly can put this game on, apart from depth of field and motion blur, obviously, no distortion. I'm not entirely sure what this does. I think it might, uh, if it's something like a lens distortion effect or whatever, but uh, I'll, I'll check it out later on. And aliasing, dynamic fur, all of that is actually enabled, so I think we should be in a pretty good place. So let's start a new game, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna go with the easiest difficulty because a why not? Time. A different enemy. Sixty men from Tier One teams were sent to face down a force of five hundred enemy fighters. Their objective: to force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days they held their ground. But the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night, and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen, using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. And this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. You don't honestly believe that story's true. Yeah, I do. Come on, let's head back to the house. Let's go. Shake a leg. Right, so what do we have? We have 6.6 .6 gigabytes of video memory allocated and 9.3 of RAM. And uh, sensitivity is a little bit over the top, but hey, I think it's not too bad. When it comes to this game, I do like the the way the story is being told, and you know, the beginning of sequence like this and the Odin's attack is something that I kind of look forward to seeing. In all honesty, it might not be the best Call of Duty out there, but I somehow I have very warm feelings towards it.
Mission Control, the orbital weapons got a successful test fire ping. Roger, Mosley. Tracking weapon, drive fire signal. Hey, Baker, here's our ride. Let's head in. Payload, this is Odin Control. Ready to receive. Odin Control, we're heading back to debrief the new crew. Roger. We're prepping airlock C. Shuttle is in final docking sequence. Payload, 10 meters. Begin rotate. Five meters, payload. Two meters. Zero your rotation delta payload. Mosley, airlock C is ready for arrival. Capturing. Talk back is barber pole. Begin retract. Copy, payload. Pressurizing airlock. Oh, really looking forward to going home. What's it been? Three months? Payload, we have hard dock. And you're parked. Nice track. Hey, Baker, give me a hand with the unload. sequencing. Targeting locked. San Francisco, Denver, Kansas City, Chicago, Washington, D.C. We're not done, Baker. Let's move to Odin and bring it down. I don't think we're making it home, Baker. That's it. 
That's enough to drop it into the atmosphere. Specialist Mosley. Kira. We have LOS with the crew of Odin Control. Repeat, loss of signal with Odin Control. Third time the charm. I don't know what pixels I keep getting We're stuck on, but something is not wanting me to progress this place. Also, I hope you guys are keeping eyes on the frames because uh, I am not, for relatively obvious reasons. Federation's rise to power had started years ago. When the great energy-producing deserts were destroyed, the world powers that depended on them collapsed, and in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner, and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. 
After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy. Viking Six, you there? Hesh. Logan. Uh, copy. Yeah, we're here. Go ahead. Reports are coming in. Dallas got overrun last night. Command wants another sweep of the wall ASAP. Ah, oh, shit. Any survivors? Negative. Sorry I didn't wake you. Thought you could use a sleep. Bye, boy. Listen. Hey, Riley's got something. Grab a gear, let's move. Team two, are you near our position? Negative, hey, we're outside. Your voice got something. Riley does. We're checking it now. Raj, we'll secure the exit. Two one out. Let's head back and get you some real food. 6 1, sit rep. Just some local wildlife. We're good. Check. We're moving up to RP Silver, copy. Yeah, we'll join you. Meet us at the wall. We're on our way out. Rush. There she is. The black hell. Still standing. Yo. Sergeant, your area secure? Just about. We need to sweep this side of the wall and we're good. We'll take the left side. Should go quick. Regroup at the gas station. You got it.
This way, Riley. Logan, grab a launcher. Take care of the birds. We'll cover you. <laughs> Transport. Roger, commandeering for transport. Logan, you're on security in the back. Come on, we gotta keep moving. find the old man. Dad. All bombs along the wall. Sit around. I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Always. Walk with me. Dad, they're executing civilians. I know. Their recon teams round up scavengers, drifters, hoping to find a way into the city. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad. Listen, you boys. You're the only thing I've got left in this world. Dad, listen. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look. Whatever it is, Logan and I... We're ready. You two are going to no man's land. Wait, for real? We've been on the defensive for far too long. So I'm sending you outside the wall. You'll link up with a recon team, gather any intel you can on the enemy, and get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home. Right, well, I think you guys seen enough. This is actually the, the performance of the games, as you can see. It, it runs great. So I would say, you know, if you have this game or you have any comments in regards to this game, good or bad, let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. 
Overnaut.